Today we're going to be unboxing this, the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. Today we're going back to my roots of tech reviews and smartphone unboxing. Uh, yeah, it's been a long time since I've unboxed a smartphone and I gotta tell you, I am so excited. So I... I used to do smartphone unboxings almost exclusively. That's kind of what my videos were, but I only got a new smartphone every two years. And now it's finally been two years and I get to replace my phone. And this is the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. Super simple design on the packaging here. So it's been a long time since I've done a smartphone unboxing. And if I can give you any recommendation, it would be to buy your phone unlocked and directly from Samsung. If you're gonna be buying the new Samsung phone, they offer the same trade-in programs that most cell phone carriers do, and they offer a lot of add-ons. Like in this situation, I was able to get a phone case and a pair of the Galaxy Buds FE for free with the purchase of my new phone. And then I also got, I believe, like $550 to trade in my old phone. Like. There's tons of benefits, and then for every dollar you spend, they give you points to, that you can then spend on a future purchase, which I used in a past video, like two years ago, when I bought a Samsung TV. Yeah, I used my points from buying this phone to buy a whole TV. So it just makes more sense to just buy it from Samsung. All right, let's go ahead and check out what we got going on here. I've already done an unboxing and review of these Buds FE. They're fantastic. I love them. These ones are for my wife because she's jealous. So we'll set those aside. I got myself a vegan leather case coming in a taupe color. And then we have our phone. So let's go ahead and start with the phone. We can worry about cases later. Anyway, back to the video. I'm sorry for the tangents. You've been waiting for the unboxing. Let's go ahead and get started. I've never had any good luck with these little peel and tear things. Oh, that one worked. <laughs> Cut to my old video where uh, that didn't work at all. So it says here, uh, do not accept if seal is broken. It looks like these are easy peel. <laughs> not so easy peel. Maybe I really should have just, yeah, we're just gonna do one of these. Now, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. <laughs> wow, it's so big. It's got a titanium outside. I don't know if that's even a big deal. Honestly, I'm gonna have a case on it, so I'll never see it, I'll never feel it, but. That's huge. For reference, this is my old phone here. Not much smaller, but this just feels so much more substantial right there. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's good, I'm excited. Oh, just touching it gets me excited. I went with the Violet because it was the one that was gonna show up the soonest. Ooh, buddy. That is huge. And I've never had a note before, but the Ultra now has the S Pen. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Before I turn this guy, actually, as I turn it on, we'll go ahead and unbox the rest of it, see what comes with it. Let's go ahead and get it started. All right, and then what else comes in the box here? A charging cable, USB-C to C, and a SIM card tool and a quick start guide. Let's see how quick this quick start guide is. Yeah, I like that. I like it when it's not a full like user manual on a quick start guide. Like just get me started. I can figure out most things on my own. But we're definitely gonna need that SIM card tool switching things over here. So, all right, let's go ahead and start. So it says to scan the QR code from my old phone. Oh, it, it, I didn't even scan it. It just sees that it's close. So we're gonna go ahead and set it up now. Connecting. All right, now it says scan the QR code. Oh, that was fast. Connecting to my Wi-Fi network. 
We're getting tons of security alerts because it's transferring everything over. We're going to transfer our SIM card. It's literally walking us through everything. So we're going to use a cable to do our smart switch here. Now that we've switched, swapped our SIM cards. Now it's going to say, hey, do you want to allow me to smart switch everything? And we're going to allow everything. So while it's doing this transfer over, let's talk about some of the reasons why I switched to this and some of the really cool new perks on this one that I don't have on my old one or things that I like about this one. So one of the like really big ones that Samsung pushed is that it now has a quad HD display. Well, um, it can shoot quad HD video and which is like almost 4K. Uh, it's basically 4K, 3120 by 1440. It's great, and I don't, honestly, I don't need it. I don't see that well. Come on, I'm wearing glasses as it is. So I appreciate my screen. I appreciate using it. Before, it would, you could have high resolution and low frame rate, or high frame rate, lower resolution. Now it's letting you have high resolution, high frame rate, which is really cool, especially if you're in the gaming space and you want that responsiveness and high resolution for gaming, which I can attest to. I used to be really big on playing PUBG. I loved that game. I would dominate, I swear. I could have kept up with some of the leagues. Um, so I understand the value of high refresh rate, a bigger screen, high resolution. That's awesome. I don't necessarily need it. I might actually bump it down just so I can get more battery life out of it. Cause that's the number one thing I got with this one is my S24 or S22 plus is the one I have now is a 4,500 milliamp hour battery. And that was actually a downgrade from my S20 ultra that I had before that had a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. And now I'm back to the 5,000. However, if you don't want to spend like the big money, you don't want the big slab phone, you don't want the S Pen, you can save $300 and you do lose a couple of little here and there features, but you get 4,900 milliamp hours. So if you're just going from the S22 Plus to the S24 Plus, that's gonna be a worthwhile exchange because you're going from 4,500 milliamp hours to 4,900, which is 100 milliamp hours less. But you also lose the S Pen, you lose the Ultra has, you can get up to a terabyte of memory and you have a slightly smaller display, that's it. Um, one other really cool thing about this one is, this one now has super high brightness. The S24 Ultra now offers uh, brightness up to 2600 nits, which uh, for reference, my old S22 Plus maxed out at 1750. That is a huge difference in screen brightness, especially if you spend any time outside. Like if you get sun glare, things like that, that brightness is going to make a difference for you. And also speaking along the lines of brightness, Samsung has also put an anti-reflective coating on the screen of this to protect it that should reduce glare and reflections. So even with the higher brightness, you now have even less reflections, making the whole experience so much better. All right, uh, this is going to be uh, transferring for a while. It, it just gave me an estimate of an hour and 45 minutes. So. I'm gonna go ahead and check back with you once the file transfer is complete to see how seamless this whole thing was. We'll be back in a minute. All right, so that transfer went surprisingly seamless. Um, aside from, I got, I have a few email addresses and so for each email address, I got a uh, Google security alert. And so you have to respond to each one of those otherwise they like lock down your email. So. Got all that handled. Um, I know that in almost every app, I'm gonna have to re-log in. Most of the information is saved, but I will have to open the app as if I've never opened it before. And then there are some things, like I know on Facebook, it didn't save that like, hey, I like it in dark mode or to match the user interface. Um, but everything else transferred over, like my background, all of my text messages, everything transfers over with that process. And it is completely seamless. Like. Anybody can do that. I love how easy they make that. Now, the last thing I wanna show you is phone cases. I am gonna be deciding which one I wanna use as a daily for a while. I have a vegan leather case that I got from Samsung, and then over here, 
I have a, a plastic case that I got from Amazon. This one's about $30. This one was about $15. And if you guys want to see a more in-depth review after trying this out for a while, let me know down in the comments. So on this guy, I talked about a lot of features that I was excited about. You know, having a 5,000 milliamp hour battery and the 2,600 nits of brightness. But some of the other things that uh, I haven't mentioned yet is um, I have never had an S Pen. I may have mentioned that, but whoop, <laughs> I am so excited to have this and try it out because I don't know if you've ever heard of the game Jackbox, but I love playing Jackbox. And for my birthday, my wife got me a big party pack of like three or four of them. And so now I have a whole bunch of Jackbox games and a lot of them are drawing ones. And it's really hard to draw with your finger, but now I got a giant tablet phone and an S Pen to be even more accurate. So. I'm really excited about that S Pen to use it on things like Jackbox, see if I can get to be a slightly better artist. I'm not claiming to be a good artist, but I'll be, I feel like I can be a little bit better using the S Pen than I will be with my fat old fingers. And uh, if Jackbox gaming isn't the gaming for you, like I mentioned before with PUBG, this is going to be fantastic for regular gaming. High speed, it has a really fast processor with 12 gigabytes of RAM. Like, it is ready to go when playing actual title games. One other nice feature is that Samsung is now partnered with Snapchat and Instagram and set it up so that instead of having super crummy pictures coming from your Android phones like it's always been, uh, at least Samsung now uses native cameras rather than using like, I think they used to use just like a screenshot and if you zoomed in on something, it would just literally zoom in on the screenshot rather than using your cameras to zoom in like they can or switching your lenses like an iPhone always had. So it's really awesome that Samsung has finally partnered with Instagram and Snapchat for that. That is one nice new feature on these ones as well. And while I consider myself a power user and so because I do that, I replace my phones almost every two years because like this guy here, my S22 plus, the battery mm, usually will last till about 11 a.m. But think about it, if I'm getting up at 6.30 in the morning and this is dead by 11 a.m., we're not getting very much use out of this guy. Whereas a uh, new phone is gonna have a new battery, bigger battery, much bigger battery. So uh, I think this should hopefully make that difference to get me through the day. And for those of you that aren't crazy power users that don't replace your phone every two years, maybe you're the jerry-rig everything type of guy who would rather keep a phone for as long as possible because you can rebuild it, you can fix it. If you're the other type of person, this will be supported for seven years. So you're good to go for at least seven years. While if you've watched any other videos on this Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra or any of the rest of the line or series, they have spent a lot of time talking about the new AI features. And while I plan to try them and test them out, I don't feel confident talking too much on those. So in the future, if that's a video you want to see, like I said before, leave a comment below and I might put together a video talking about my experience with it, maybe talk about the AI features, how good or bad they are. I bought this phone with my own money, so I don't have to worry about reporting back to Samsung and being like, I'm sorry man, this, can't, this thing sucks, and then them getting mad at me and never sending me a phone again. I can say whatever I want because I bought this with my own money. However, in the hour that I've had this, I've only found one issue. And uh, on my old phone, let's just take a look here, uh, the speaker grill is on the left hand side. And so when I hold it, naturally, I put my pinky here as a kickstand, right? Well, this new one, the Ultra, has moved it over to the right hand side. So now my pinky, as the kickstand, seems to naturally find its place covering the speaker grill. Not a great move. So they switched the location of the speaker and the uh, SD card slot. Hopefully it doesn't become a long-term issue. Maybe the rest of the phone is loud enough. It uses some other technology. I know they use the speaker on the top when you're like usually doing stuff, but if I'm like watching videos or something like that and my hand somehow is just sitting here like this, I'm gonna start covering that 
speaker and it's gonna start sounding funny. There's, there's a starting complaint. I think I mentioned this, but I'm gonna to touch on it again. If you don't need the Ultra, if you don't need the very top of the line, the S24 Plus is still a very great phone for $300 less. The S24 Ultra starts at about $1,300. And when you add on things like I got the one terabyte hard drive, things like that, that goes up and then you can trade in your old phone and then prices can go down. But if you don't need this big expensive phone, you don't need a giant tablet, you don't need the S Pen, you would like a large battery though, I think the S24 is worth considering because the S24 Plus has a 4,900 milliamp hour battery while the Ultra has a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. Um, it does have up to 512 gigabytes of uh, memory, while this one comes with up to a terabyte of memory. But again, you have to pay for that upgrade. Both use the same Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 for Galaxy. Both have 12 gigabytes of RAM. Both use 5G. Both use ultra-wide cameras. The Ultra does have the 100x space zoom and a 200 megapixel wide angle lens and a 50 megapixel 5x telephoto lens. So if you're not doing a ton of zooming, things like that, I don't know who is doing anything more than like a standard 3x and then even that, a digital zoom is not bad. And it does have a 30x space zoom on the uh, 24 plus. Otherwise, everything is the exact same. It comes down to the very last thing is the display is, instead of a 6.8 inch display, it's a 6.7 inch display. Both 2600 nits, both 120, uh, 120 hertz refresh rate, and both a Quad HD plus screen. So, otherwise, identical phones to go from the Ultra to the Plus. If I had looked at these specs, I may have actually considered sticking with a Plus model rather than going for the Ultra, aside from I really wanted that one terabyte of memory. There you go. Let me know what you think if you want to see a future update on the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, or uh, if you have any questions about this guy, the AI features, anything, leave those in the comments below. I try to respond to all comments on my videos. In a day of shorts and reels, TikToks and Snapchats, Nick Nack and Paddywag, thanks for giving this old dog a bone and watching my video. If you want to get this guy for yourself, I'll have a link to Amazon down below. I'll also give you a link to get this directly from Samsung just because I do recommend doing that because you get the accessories of like the headphones and the phone case and all those other cool deals when you can go through Samsung just because of the cool perks that they offer. You don't get those special features through Amazon. So I'll have an Amazon link if you'd like. I am an Amazon affiliate using those links to help to support this channel with no additional cost to you. Or you can go to Samsung and I think I get like one of those like friends and fan, friends and family referral fee, uh, referral link. So uh, it's not an affiliate link, but I may benefit from that one. No promises. Either way, I'll make sure you have a couple options for links to get this phone for yourself. I do recommend getting an unlocked phone just because it works with all providers. <sighs> Again, if you have any other questions, let me know. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.